is a jungle out there. I don't actually know what that line is from, but it is. You see this mess? Because this is a mess. This is a big stinking mess, but we're still getting we're still getting fruit from it. So this is today's bounty, and actually it's special because today picked, that one's too not okay. Ripe well, enough. some of them, yeah. This was a little too ripe. This one wasn't ripe enough. But this is generally what we get every what do you say, Mal? Five days? Yeah. Probably every five days we get about this much. Not as much as we did last year. Last year it was ridiculous. I well, mean, these we are were, the heirlooms, so they we, don't uh, produce as much. We were filling much. up freaking buckets full of them. But um, it's special because this is the first day that we've gotten a pepper. Uh, because we're growing hot peppers. We have two plants. And we've been getting the peppers, but they haven't been turning red. We've had them for like... Oh, they, a long time. Probably a month. We've had them since before we went to L.A. Yeah, so a month and a half they've been here. And you can see we have a ton of them. But, you know, we don't have any of them turning red until today. This is the first red one. So I'm going to wash this off and actually try it. Mal doesn't know how hot they are. And I don't know how hot they are. Well, I can assure you they're not ghost peppers. Yeah, they're, they're nothing like super bad. I like hot stuff. Uh, but I figured I would try one. And then I could at least let Mal know how hot they are. So we would have an idea. All right, let's try this thing. Very hot. It's very hot. We have milk. <laughs> well, you're eating the seeds and everything. <laughs> it's very hot. <coughs> <coughs> it's very hot. Why did we grow these? Because they were pretty and I wanted to try them. Okay. I don't know what we're going to use them <laughs> for. Ugh. But I'm really glad that we grew them. Ugh. That was a good idea. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you need, you need milk? I'm alright. Oh god. So we decided to grow. You gonna do a hop for gaming, Ruby? <laughs> <laughs> you see, I give the last of us 10 out of 10. It'll be a really good game. There's a lot of character development. I like it a lot better, I think, than the Uncharted series. <coughs> I can safely say that. After playing Uncharted 1 through 3, I actually have played Uncharted 1 and 2, and then The Last of Us, and I have just recently went back and played Uncharted 3, but I think I can safely say that yeah, The Last of Us is a better game, which makes sense because Naughty Dog would have had any experience of working on Uncharted 1 through 3 and then actually moving into The Last of Us. But I, just, I really do think that The Last of Us is a better game. There's a lot of stuff that they did uh, between Uncharted 3 and The Last of Us. You can tell they really just kind of worked their game as a company. It's a big improvement in gameplay. A lot of the parts in Uncharted feels very flighty. It's got more of an arcade feel, and I like that Uncharted, or uh, not Uncharted, The Last of Us, it feels more like a console game in many ways. The pepper was very hot. It was a lot hotter than I was expecting. I'm not sure what I was expecting, but it was hot. I think the tomato helped. The burning finally subsided from that pepper, and uh, I was curious how hot that pepper was, so we actually looked it up online, and apparently the range is pretty varied. It can be anywhere from 3,000 to 30,000 Scoville units, uh, which is actually not that many. Um, I mean, it's certainly hot, but there are much hotter things out there. Uh, habaneros, for example, are closer to 100,000, which means that a lot of people that can tolerate extremely hot stuff that are watching right now are laughing themselves silly and they're like ha ha you pansy but dude, it was hot man it was hot he's like yeah it's hot it's hot um could i do something hotter probably but i mean it's not something that i would want to do i guess willingly uh that's that pretty hot even so hot pepper gaming 
if you're interested, I would love to be on your show. Actually, Maker's the one that produces that, so maybe that's something that could be possible in the future. And I would do a wonderful review of The Last of Us. Anyway, uh, this evening, uh, Rachel is actually in town. Rachel is... We, we, had, uh, we had dinner with Rachel a year ago, maybe a, a little more than a year ago. Uh, but she's back in town. She's with her boyfriend and also her other friend, who is coincidentally also named Rachel. So we are going to go meet them at Snooky's and have some dinner. So you got a kosher burger. I did. You actually have altered a kosher burger, and I've never seen it done that way. Because you switched out the blue cheese for cheddar. And, and I put mayo And also you put mayo. Okay, so it's almost a different burger. How is it? It is very good. It's full of white. <laughs> is it now? Yeah. Okay. You actually haven't even tried your thing yet. No, no just I haven't been... even grabbed the sandwich. I've been eating all the fries. Bro, do you even sandwich? I'm really glad that you enjoy the fries so much. That sandwich is pretty good too. I will eventually get there. I'm just going to assume that you love it and it's the best. That works, yeah. And that, that's actually one of my favorite things. Mm -hmm. You're enjoying that as well? Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So, you guys are going to be in town Sunday. Till Sunday. Okay. What's your other plans for things to do? Um, the memorial. Memorial thingy tomorrow for a friend of ours. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm like back tonight if there's time. I still want to try to go to Player's like Choice. That's oh, the time. you gotta go to Player's oh, yeah. Choice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. go to Player's yes. Choice. Yes. And we did. We did. And now that's over. So now we're saying goodbye. Bye. Bye. Thanks for visiting. Bye. Did you fun? Did you enjoy Player's Choice? Yes. Very much yes. so. There were things that I didn't buy that I needed Rachel to drag me away from. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I want it. And yeah. Somebody the... was trying to get Rob. me to buy a Rob. Rob. And I don't appreciate that, Hinkle. I don't need a Rob, but please hold Always it. Need uh, <laughs> yeah, need Always need a Rob. Always need a Rob. Yeah, I might have to get one. You need two Robs. <laughs> well, good luck with the rest of your trip. Yes. yes. Stay yes. safe and... At some point, try Bojangles, because it's good. Yes. <laughs> Bojangles, definitely. You have to make sure you do that. These are going to be good a second time, and that second time is, well, right now. We had a wonderful evening with uh, Rachel and Rachel and Mark, and it was good to meet Mark and Rachel for the first time. Uh, now that we're back, we're just going to continue working. I've actually, at this point in time, edited all of the Resident Evil and Assassin's Creed that I recorded, and uh, I don't have much more mother to edit and I will have edited everything that we've recorded so we'll have to record some more probably this weekend. I'm just really thankful because this is the first time in a long time that I'm this far ahead and most cons, I think I might have explained this in a recent vlog, I'm so I apologize, but uh, most cons like the day before I stay up all night because I'm just trying to get everything done and that won't happen this time. I'm saying it right now, it's not going to happen. I really feel like we're going to get everything done, so I'm really, really excited about that. It's a big deal in my life right now. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more! Because uh, this weekend we got to get a few school supplies, and then uh, on Monday, I believe uh, myself and my family are going to go with Mal to help her get set up for school, kind of like what we did last year, so that'll be happening again. Thanks for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? Wherever we would move to would be a fairly permanent location for us. It would be our first actual home, and it's a pretty exciting process. Um, you know, we're still completely undecided about the kids thing, but since we all have always said, you know, ask again in five years, it's very likely that this would be the house that our kid would grow up in. So everything is safe in the day. It's a lot like Minecraft. You uh, you're you're safe in the day, but when nightfall comes, you're going to be screwed. All right, let's open this up. Oh, fun. Something is coming out. Oh, freaking! Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ. Jump out the window! Jump out the window! Jump out the window! Can they jump out the window? Are they that smart? I don't know. I'm getting out of here.